all of our customers have been impacted uh, one way or another as a result of, of this crisis. The business level impacts really has been kind of uh, dependent upon the, the, the business segment. But all of the customers obviously have implemented some sort of social distancing policy, whether that is, you know, there's a no visitor policy or there is a no congregation policy to where you can't have more than X number of people in the, in the conference room. But all customers have put in some sort of, of social distancing policy to, uh, to limit contact. In terms of uh, business impact, really that has been more specific to the industry that the customer falls within. As an example, you know, some of our automotive customers uh, that are tier one suppliers have had to completely shut down operations due to uh, work stoppages at Toyota and Honda. Our aerospace and defense customers have also been impacted, obviously, due to a slowdown in, in orders from you know, the Boeings and the Lockheeds. Seems like our medical device customers, for some strange reasons, seem to be uh, okay. But as I said, you know, those impacts have been really specific to uh, the particular business segment that they fall within. Obviously, due to uh, current circumstances, we are being forced to, uh, to leverage technology in every creative way we can imagine to keep our customers moving forward. Obviously, we are heavily leveraging Zoom and, and GoToMeeting. Um, so please give me an opportunity to uh, evaluate some of the plus and minuses uh, of Zoom versus GoToMeeting. I probably spent more time on, on GoToMeetings the, the last four weeks than I probably have the last four months combined. So obviously that is something that we are relying on and we are dependent upon. Of course, depending upon the customer and the project, we are uh, relying on Microsoft Teams and, and SharePoint as a project level collaboration tool. We're also trying to leverage tools provided by, by Infor. Um, one tool is uh, Infor Campus, which is a online learning tool um, that covers all the different modules within the, uh, the, ER, the Infor ERP systems. We are also leveraging a tool called Infor Implementation Accelerators, and they are effectively best practice process flows and, and models for deploying the, the various components of, of Infor ERP systems. So we've been leveraging those as, as much as we can as well. Um, we've been doing some creative things with, uh, with recordings. Um, we have had customers submit us questions and we have recorded the answers and walked through those steps in the software and sent those uh, back to the customer. You know, with the different policies and, and unable to be, uh, you know, even in the same room in, in most instances, you know, we, we've had to do a lot of recordings and submit those to our, our customers. So their, uh, their people and their teams can review them you know, at their leisure. So obviously we're, we're doing all that we can to maximize our, our use of, of technology and to keep our customers and, and their projects uh, moving forward. First and foremost, we are recommending that, that our customers stay the course. You know, the fundamental business reasons for embarking on the digital transformation or ERP project are still there. Um, regardless of, of this crisis, those issues are, are going to remain um, after it's over and they're in place now. So those reasons that they embarked on those projects in the first place have not changed. Um, in addition, I was talking to uh, a CEO from one of our customers in Massachusetts yesterday. And she was saying that, you know, with the, the drop in volume of orders that they have um, experienced, you know, now was really, there's no really better time for, for their people to, to focus on, on their ERP project than, than right now. Um, she made the comment that, you know, hey, our people are going to be more available in the next four weeks than they have probably been in the last four months. So this is a perfect time to, um, to focus on, you know, keeping them uh, moving forward and you know spending time on on the initiative. Second, we are recommending to customers to evaluate how their internal teams are collaborating with one another. Um, we mentioned uh, under another question, you know, leveraging Microsoft Teams or SharePoint, but we're recommending that they evaluate how those teams collaborate internally now that they're in a remote environment, which most of them obviously just aren't aren't accustomed to uh, to being in. 
Uh, third, we are asking them to you know, look at look at their talent and, and reevaluate that. <clears throat> the unfortunate reality is that um, you know there are a lot of good and talented people that are now on on the market as a result of, of this crisis. And if we have people on our um, transformation teams or ERP teams that aren't quite as you know equipped skill wise to uh, drive those projects forward. You know, now is a perfect time to, to find new talent and, and to bring those people in to help drive those projects. So overall, we are recommending, you know, stay in the course, using the, the time that they have, uh, you know, considering, you know, some of the downturns in, in order volume and using that time to focus and, and drive these projects forward. That's what, what we've been recommending.